Hey guys, it's Hit the Panda here with CardRunners.com, and I'm back with part three of my 1K Scoop main event, and we're just going to hop right back into it. So we have the Ace Queen of Diamonds opening it from early position, and I just min raise. We have two stacks behind that can just shove on us, so I think min raising is a bit better. And we get three bet by Jiro Hayes, and if we remember last time he three bet us from these positions, we had the Ace Two suited versus his Jacks, and we definitely want to keep that in mind. I'm sure he has that in mind. So. First off, I don't think he's going to be through bidding us wide from these positions. He should think that our range is somewhat strong already. And if we're not folding ace two suited, then I doubt he thinks he has much fold equity. So we call the ace queen. And he bets pretty big sizing. And looks like I appeal. <laughs> so I think that is fine slash standard against most players. But I think in this position, it's probably... A, might be a little bit more reasonable to check full just based off of him maybe not thinking we're folding too much but i could just assume you know I, I, this was a bit ago so he might have just been three betting pretty wide in the first place and i imagine that might be the case just because it's not very often i play the hands like i do with the ace two suited um from part one so uh we do check call and he checks back on the turn here which is indicates that he pretty much has was either bluffing or has ace king so i would like to see myself just ship it here i think he has pretty much zero 5x or spades in his range or twos pocket twos for that matter so if i'm going to get to the river with a hand this wide then i, pr I mean this is pretty much the bottom of my range other than maybe ace jack of hearts, ace ten of hearts. Um, so yeah, I think I should be shoving for sure. Because I do have some, uh, I mean, clearly I have ace five suited in my range. I have every spade draw in my range. I have sets in my range. And yeah, and he doesn't have any of those pretty much. You know, when he bets the flop and checks back turn, it makes pretty much no sense for him to have a spade draw. And makes no sense for him to have a five either so yeah let's see what i did uh, i bet really small and that's that's interesting um you know clearly i'm betting this way because i am representing that i don't have many bluffs in my range which technically i don't you know i have the ace x of hearts which is like two combos three no, it's not. It's like four combos or so whatever. Um, and that's basically it. You know, I have seven. Yeah, yeah. it's real tough to have many, many hands I want to bet here, like other than my ace axes. But if he thinks that I'm floating all of my ace queens, um, then I should be betting a bit bigger than this, I think. And I think shoving is probably okay in that. But I think at, th at this point, I, would, I, I was assuming he would view me as not really floating the flop very wide but you know that's kind of counterintuitive when i have that ace two suited hand where i floated pretty damn wide so if if he thinks i'm floating every suited ace here which i guess it's a dynamic thing as well i would assume that he would probably not think i'd float quite as wide in this in this exact case after doing it last time so because of that you know i bet the small sizing pretty much repping a flush or a five or, or a boat or occasionally ace three x and he folds and, you know, I think it's all right, too, because his range already is pretty weak. So I'm really just pretty much trying to get him to fold, like, 4x, 2x, and ace-king. So, yeah. I mean, I, I think the shove is okay, just based off all the reasons I said. But against a lot of players, this probably isn't necessary. And, and this sizing is going to save us a lot of money if we do end up getting called. But I think we do get called by a shove pretty much almost never. <laughs> 